pretty spectacular way to score your first win in the UFC. Talk to us about the emotion of uh, picking up that first W. Oh, it was uh, it was pretty awesome. Uh, I had a whole bunch of time from from the octagon to here to think about it, and I still can't articulate it. Uh, I think to its full uh, passion, my full passion. Uh, it was something that I've been dreaming about for a long time. Uh, even before I had this opponent, I just just kind of win traveling across the world and. Uh, Having a win like that, we're having my friends support me on the way there. It's like it's like a movie, you know. You, you, you can't ask for a better movie. This is like a blood sport or something. It's amazing. And uh, fighting Carlo, uh, Carlo Pedersoli, he's, he's thrown a lot of kicks in his career. He uses his kicks an awful lot, and it was it was one of those kicks that you, you timed absolutely perfectly to score the TKO. Yeah. Is that something that you prepared for going into this one to actually counter those kicks? Yes, a hundred percent. Like uh, well, it was funny because once I saw him fight. And I saw him throw a kick. I was like, oh, OK, this is an opportunity here. And uh, I actually had another counter available that I did in the fight. But it, did, it hit him, but it didn't put him down. So when that happened, I was like, wow, like he has a better chin than I thought. I'm going to have to like really go in. I gave him a little too much time. I took too many kicks, uh, letting him uh, get comfortable. I should have just blocked him. But I saw that he was getting very, very confident. And he was like moving his head and saying things. And I knew that the time was going to come. Coming out the UFC debut and it's not quite going your way, yeah. did you feel a little bit more pressure on yourself coming into this one? No, uh, actually, I just felt very upset. Like I was, <laughs> I was pretty angry after the last fight. Like, after the last fight, from the moment I got out the octagon, uh, I wanted to fight again. I, you saw I tried to fight in New York uh, a little while ago. I was ready to fight the moment I landed back in San Jose. So this, to me, uh, was something that had to happen this particular way for me to feel somewhat satisfied, and I'm still not satisfied. I'm still upset, and I want more fights to prove that you know I belong here. That's the most important thing to me right now. Finding so far out, so far away out of your uh, homeland, uh, was it a pro or con of your today's performance? Well, that's that's a that's a good question. Um, I don't think I don't think in any way it was a con because uh, for me anywhere that I fight is good, <laughs> as long as I can, as long as I can get there and, and fight, it's good. I think that um, having all that time on the plane to think about what I'm going to do and then being worried about going back with a loss. You don't want to take a long plane ride back home after a loss. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> it is bad. So that's more motivation to win, if anything. And in terms of the finish, you know, it, it's as late as you get in a round, you know, 4.59. Um, in terms of the finish yourself, did you think that that fight should be stopped at that point? Or do you think that maybe you'd have been headed into the second round? I didn't even know the time. To be honest, I didn't even know the bell, the bell ring. Like, I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I just know that uh, when I knock him down, he was out. When he hit the ground, I almost didn't follow up. I was like, oh, this is over. But then I said, wait a minute, because I've done that before, and then things didn't work out. So I followed up, and then I felt him start going limp again. And then I was like, OK, they stopped it, and it was done. I was surprised to hear there was any kind of confusion. Then when I saw the replay for it, I was like, there's no way that this is, a, this is a, any confusion. But I respect the guy's heart, not even to be condescending or anything like that. Honestly, I respect his heart. I respect the fact that he wanted to continue to fight like any true fighter would. And for that, I commend him. Yeah. So what's next for you, ideally? When do you, when do you want to get back in there? And you know, how many more times do, should we expect to see you in 2019? How many more times? As much as humanly possible. Like, I like to fight. Like, it, it sounds kind of crass to say I like to fight, but you know, I do. I enjoy this. I'm a martial artist. I've been martial arts my entire life. Uh, it's something that I think about all the time. I'm always trying to make it better. And the only way I can get better is by facing the best guys in the world and being forced to improve. If I just sit around thinking I'm good, it means nothing unless I can prove it here in Octagon.